Okay, welcome back. This is a continuation of the Botkin's Earth Ground Experiment using the Emotep Radiant Oscillator Light and uh, Houdini SSG Fan. And we're using a um, Earth Ground. And that's a screwdriver stuck in the ground there with an extension cord wired to it. And this isn't in the wall. That's just an extension cord, a ground wire coming into the circuit right here and that's just um, the ground wire. Uh, we're using a Bedini SSG circuit with the Bedini fan and the CFLs, two of them, being fired off by one ignition coil. And what uh, is new about this is we're gathering energy in that capacitor while we're running the circuit and while we're doing that at a very low amp draw. Now this is voltage on the capacitor. There's a little bit of stray voltage on it right now. I can take the screwdriver and null it out a little bit. Get it down. Okay, that's pretty much zeroed out there. And what we're doing is using diodes. Um, on this particular setup I've got, I've got the silver going that direction on that side. And the one on the other side, the silver is going the other direction toward the ground. Now, what I'm going to do is turn this on and start the fan into self-oscillation. You can hear it going to self-oscillation. Okay, now I've got uh, voltage exciting the ignition coil here, putting out high voltage out of the tower here. It's going around into the CFL around into the other CFL and then back in to an open wire right here. Normally that would go to, ouch, to this thing right here. I've been getting shocked quite a bit lately. There's a lot of high voltage here, but normally that ground goes right there. Now I can um, touch these bulbs and my capacitance will light the bulbs up. But what I'm going to do now is uh, hook up this um, ground wire here to the ground and light both bulbs up, complete the circuit. And there go both lights. Now that's normally the brightness I've got on my lunchbox circuit. Um, and that's, that's the way they normally run right about there. You can vary it somewhat with the rheostat. And there's the amp draw. That's 150 milliamps. That's a lot less than what I'm drawing on the lunchbox circuit. And look at what's going on with the capacitor. The capacitor is loading up with energy while this is going on. And this circuit that has the capacitor in it with the lights going at the brightness we normally have them at, at 150 milliamps, this is what excites me and it's what excited Bodkins is we are harvesting more energy with less amp draw with the same brightness. And um, anyway, this is my replication of, of what he is doing. Uh, it's a little bit different circuit, perhaps, but this is as close as I could get to replicating what he was showing on his gauges. And uh, you'd have to do more study with this, but this fact that you can actually fill up a capacitor off of the back end circuit while you're lighting the lights and while you're drawing that kind of a draw is very, very good. Anyway, that's the... Uh, end of it. I'm going to turn it off here now. And there's the voltage that's sitting on the cap. That's 79 and a half volts. And watch what happens when I release it. And we could do this with a cap pulser circuit or whatever we wanted to do, but it's there. Bodkin's earth ground does work.